Performance Racing Industry Show in Indianapolis 2015 at the Centroid booth. And we're here with Nick with Victory Precision Machine. And uh, hey, Nick, what you got going on here today? Um, just leaving a B18 Honda block uh, using uh, LA sleeves, closed deck sleeves. Uh, we're surfacing it right now. Uh, we're going to come back through and do a few more operations here in a couple minutes. We'll be boring it, surfacing it, uh, water jacket holes, doing O-ring grooving. Um, pretty much everything to do a finished block other than honing it. So everything can be done in the machine all at one time. What's it take to re-sleeve a block like that? What do you got to do to it? Uh, we have to cut out the actual factory liners and then we uh, press fit or install um, a sleeve such as this into it. Um, it increases the uh, structural integrity of the block to uh, attain more cylinder pressure and it contains it. Um, after that, they get pressed in and then uh, decked, and then all the f finished machine work happens as if it was a normal block. So, uh, on the Centroid, tell me about the process uh, that you use to. Uh, I mean, obviously, you got a, a factor block, and it's got some imperfections. And how do you how do you figure out where those things are at and get the bores where they're supposed to be and, and all uh, that? The Centroid has an excellent probing system. <clears throat> um, the block is uh, fixtured, and then installed here to the fixture plate and then the probing system comes down probes the deck surfaces the bores um, anything you really tell it to do um, after it's probed in the system uh, then knows all the bore center lines and knows the deck height um, and then your machine work can begin from there you can start altering the OEM specifications to whatever you need it to be you guys uh, increasing the uh, cubic inches on these motors and um, OEM they're really small they're about 108 to 110 cubic inches uh, they end up being about 120 122 uh, they get from about 1.8 liter all the way up to a 2 or a 2.1 liter is what they're going to be ending up at and these all go on the turbocharged installations uh, some of them are turbocharged installations and some of them are all motor installation. Uh, the, we have, we're doing a K24 with an all-motor setup. We're going to go to the maximum bore for the sleeve on it, um, get some displacement out of it. That way we can make some horsepower with no turbo. And how long have you guys had your A560? Uh, we've had it for about two and a half years now and it is probably tenfold increased production just from having it compared to the previous machinery. What made you guys decide to, to pick up a uh, five-axis CNC in the first place? Um, well, the all-inclusive package is what really did it for us. It's mainly that the support, the warranty, and then the fact that you all are actually close to us. If we have any sort of issues, you all just pick up the phone day or night, come down, help us out. So that's that was a major selling point. Other than that, the, the system itself is also great. Um, being able to use the anatomous digitizing, um, get the heads squared away, and be able to do a nice toolpath with the MasterCam software, it can't beat it.